While you were gone, what I did was I just preheated the oven for, to 425 degrees. Now, you know, honestly, you don't really even have to let this marinate. You're only going to let it marinate if you're going to put it on the grill. You know, that's to get the flavor in, let the flavor go in. Cheers! And I'm just going to lay it out. What I like to do is put skin side down. And then later on, what I'm going to do, thank you, is turn it around in mid cooking. But we don't really have to let it marinate. We're just going to put it in. I wish you could smell it. It smells, woo! It smells wonderful. Oh my goodness. Here, look. Once I grab it, I just lay it out just as like so. I just keep all the sauce in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it in the oven. Pop it in the oven about 30, 35 minutes, 40, depending on how much chicken you have and how hot, yeah, and how hot your stove, uh, your oven will be. Next dish that we're gonna do, this is the dry mint. Noodles. It's very simple. It's very simple noodles, right? Let's go ahead and grab the Japanese ramen. We're gonna grab some onions and we're just gonna put some regular water in our big cooking pot. We're just gonna let that go for a little bit. Giselle went ahead and cut some of the onions. Green onions, I love green onions. It's a nice, nice taste. So I'm just gonna add a little more green onions. So I'm just gonna do a quick cut with my beautiful knife. Do you like green onions, Giselle? Yes. Doesn't it make everything taste good? The dry mint also, what we're gonna add is some bean sprouts. We're gonna get the bean sprouts, we're gonna rinse it up in it later. But we don't even cook the bean sprouts, we just use that as a topping. So what we did, went ahead and filled up our pot of water. Turn our stove on high. Take a quick look at the chicken. Mm. About another 10 minutes or so, we're good to go. Let me grab the bean sprouts. Daddy, when we eat, and, and let's the get music, our pirates. Yes. And we say bye, and then we can't eat okay? Yeah, we're gonna eat. I'm gonna let everybody know in their homes that they can not only eat, they can do this recipe. And isn't this recipe easy? Yeah, you let them know. Say, hey, it's easy. That's easy. See, if my daddy can do it, you can do it too. My daddy can do it. You can do it too. Now, tell it to the camera. Say, you can do it too. You can do it too. Yeah. So you can do it too. Fun in the kitchen. That's what I like. And that's pretty much it. We're going to take a quick break right after this. I'm going to cook this only. Yes, we're going to cook that only. See? Giselle, this is where I need my... I, I help you. Let's go ahead and rip this open. Let's go. Ah! 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 Can you add me some of that noodles? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna grab a whole big bundle and we're just gonna put it right into our boiling pot of water. Watch, be careful. Watch your hands. I'm just gonna spread it out just a little bit. This will only take a couple of minutes to cook. So you guys have to be very careful. Once you start overcooking these noodles, it will get slimy and you don't want that. So let's go ahead and check this out. What I'm gonna do now is get my bean sprouts. Dump my bean sprouts into my colander. Let's go ahead and give it a quick rinse because even though we did get it from our farmer's market, we still want to make sure we all that dirt. Now the sauce, how do we make this noodle action come together? So Giselle, stand right here. Let's go ahead and start preparing the sauce. It's going to get equal parts of oil. Again, you can use vegetable, corn, quarter cup of oil, put some pepper please. A little bit more. That's perfect. That's perfect. And equal parts it. of soy sauce. I'm gonna pour it in. Some may say, you know, you might think it's a little bit greasy, but can it I actually, it? all we need to do is mix it. And once the noodles are done, I'm gonna put it right into this colander here. One thing, two things it's gonna accomplish. I'm gonna drain the water out. It's gonna heat up these bean sprouts and cook it for a little bit. Once we um, have that noodles mixed in, we're gonna pour the sauce into the colander. Excess sauce will drip out, and we're we'll going go ahead and begin our plating. Once you see the noodles, it kind of pops up automatically on the top. That means you know it's done. Anything more than that, you can be prepared to get it slimy. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pour the noodles on to our bean sprouts. Can I put it? Not yet, not yet. Keep some of that water on the side. Well, we're just gonna mix it, get our bean sprouts all in. I don't like that. Thing. I know, but we're gonna take it out for you. We're just, we're just gonna take it out for you. Again, it's optional to put that stuff in. Just gonna sprinkle some green onions, just a little bit, just a little bit. That's enough. And now go ahead and pour some of that sauce. Do it ever so slowly, slowly. 
Perfect! Perfect! Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this around. Once we mix this around, like in everything, wow, I, just, I think you poured too fast and kind of went through, but I think we'll truck through and we'll get through it. That's the best thing about working with kids. They live and learn. Take a, take a look at it. Take a taste. Since it's just for our family, we can go ahead and mix it in. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. Mm, guys, if you were here, it's fantastic. Fantastic. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and plank this on. Mm. And once I plank this on, we have our bean sprouts, we have our noodles, we have our green onions. Again, guys, this is called Dry Man. Uh, try it. It's very, very simple. Very, very easy once you do it once or twice. Um, Again, Giselle loves to see how she's picking on it. Let me just go ahead and plate this up and let's take a look at our chicken. So this is our time in. We got our plat plate for our chicken. But I got a little bit more. Yep. Go ahead and put the sauce on. It's gonna go ahead and grab the chicken. Let's turn off our stove. And take a look at our chicken. Oh! Guys, this is good stuff right here. This is good stuff right here. Show you chicken. You know, you're coming home after a late, uh, hard day at work. Say it's a Monday, Tuesday, whatever the day may be. Just pop in, show you sugar, uh, garlic, ginger. I put a little bit of beer, put a little bit of um, jalapenos, popped it in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes at 425 degrees, and look what you have, hands-free cooking. You can eat this with rice, you can eat this with noodles, is what we're gonna do here today. So let's take a look at it. See how that boiling? Let's go ahead and Plate this up. I always want to make sure that our chicken is well cooked. So I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna grab a couple pieces of the chicken. I love drumsticks. I again, guys, I love dark meat, but it's up to you. I preferred having it with the bone on and the skin on. But uh, again, my noodles. We can go ahead and take it out. I can already hear that Giselle this is, my hockey noodles. is uh, eating the noodles and enjoying the noodles. Let's go ahead and keep going with plating our chicken. Oh, I get excited myself, so when I'm plating it, I'm actually <laughs> spilling it, but we'll, we'll get through it. And just go ahead and plate this. Um, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to play a pop water football, and my mom, she would always make this for us, and it's kind of, a, kind of our, um, or my mom's tra trait of what she would actually bring. Uh, as far as our potlucks, everybody would know that my mom would bring shui chicken and uh, shui chicken is always a hit especially after long uh, days playing football and I actually ate this oh I could tell you every every week I think we had this either went to the beach as a potluck we had football had a potluck played basketball had a potluck uh, growing up in Hawaii guys I think we had potluck for uh, everything every Every, every, every occasion. So as soon as you do, just gonna wipe it up. I'm gonna plate it a little well and make it a little neat, a little presentable. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of the green onions. I think I have some left. And just go ahead and sprinkle it on top. We're gonna plate it here. We got, please, we got our dry in. Uh, I think you need to use chopsticks when you're grabbing these, Giselle. Mm, 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 mm. This is the best thing that we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and taste some of this chicken. Yeah. You want to taste some of this chicken with me? Yes. I think this chicken is falling apart juicy. Let's, let me taste the first one because it is hot. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Let's try this, Giselle. Take a taste. Is it hot? Mmm. Delicious? Tell the folks at home how good it is. Good. Very good? Winner? All right, from our kitchen to yours. We like to cook and we like to eat. Remember guys, the best thing about cooking is eating. Enjoy, have a nice weekend. This is Garrett Silva and Giselle Silva, the G&G &G Cooking Show. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Goodbye.